Did you ever get those patterns? You know, the ones where the pictures are brilliant, you fall in love, you grab a bottle of wine, and then you grab your needles, shun everyone and get to work. You have to make this pattern so simple, so adorable. Only three or four lines in the pattern. Boom! He got this. And then a few hours into your project while binge watching Outlander, I assume, you start getting cranky. You've gone back and forth, pulled it out, huffed, puffed, then went back at it again, and still, it just wasn't working. This looks like crap. You start stressing. You start Googling and YouTubing what they were trying to tell you in the very pattern that you're reading and what you got wrong. But you can't make sense of it. Am I doing this stitch wrong? Don't give me that look. Every knitter has YouTube some kind of stitch in his day. Am I right, ladies? Next thing you know, you spent more hours researching a stitch or a pattern guide than would have taken you to actually make the pattern itself. But that one damned, seemingly simple pattern is just God taking you on the back of a yak through the Yarnalayas, seeking out sages for the knowledge and wisdom, has you deep in the dark basement chambers of federal facilities hoping to find why this simple pattern is so complicated. I spent $16 million on boutique yarn and 3,000 hours drinking wine. Why can't I figure out this freaking pattern? You join any Facebook knitting group you can find, plunging in, asking real fast, I'm having trouble with this pattern. Can someone please help? Don't do it. Don't give me that look. We've all done it. You posted it. You asked for help. Crickets. Then someone says, look it up on YouTube or Google. See? <laughs> You're now in this endless world that has you desperate for a support group. But there's some knowledge I'd like to share if you'll allow me. Knitting patterns are a lot like people and vice versa. Rather than bang your head against a wall over a pattern you just can't seem to figure out, let it go. Put it down. Someone else will do just fine with it and will probably figure it out. Post it on their blog how simple it was just to annoy you. Sometimes you just don't click with a pattern. You always fight and never reconcile. Oh sure, you'll give it another try, but you see that pattern over there in the corner of your desk pouting at you sad-faced. We were having fun. Don't believe it. Once the yarn is on the needles, something just doesn't feel right. The yarn falls off, gets in your way, never feels right. This pattern ain't for you, baby. You tried your damnedest, did your best to make it work, but it just didn't happen. Doesn't mean we're all bad knitters because we can't work a simple pattern. Sometimes the intention is brilliant, magical. That first sight of the pattern gets you into a beautiful place in your head that you've been anxious to get to for a while now. Excitement over something new. But, like a one night stand where you end up actually going to brunch the next day, you find you have nothing in common. Something so simple was so much work and you realize that going after this was just the pursuit of passion to conquer something silly, really. We've all done that too. So you walk away, let that pattern go, wasn't the right time for your needles. But here's the funny thing. One day, without even trying, you're going to bump into a knitting pattern in Vogue knitting so complex and so mathematical you'll think there is no way that you can make it. You'll look at it, maybe even roll your eyes and say, there's just no way I could ever tackle this. No way. Uh-uh. Nah. -uh. But you have the yarn and one last glass of wine, you give it a shot. And you find yourself knitting smoothly through the pattern. You'll find peace and feel as though you've always known this was the one. Oh, it has a gazillion pages of demands about what to do next and for some reason you comply. You work those quirky stitches and master those weird bind offs in the middle of nowhere like a star. And you'll do it all with a smile that you didn't think was possible. You'll find each other and you'll create something complex and amazing, but so real and full of contentment. You'll find each other, and that's when it hits you. If knitting patterns are like people, and vice versa, then maybe it wasn't the pattern at all. Maybe it was you. Maybe at this time in your life, you aren't satisfied with something simple and pretty. Maybe what you've been craving is something challenging and fruitful. While knitting in my space just now, I look towards my husband with all of his 
complications and demands and thought, yes, this is your pattern. Thank you for listening. I'm Gregory Patrick, Madman Knitting.